Word from the Lord. We're going to talk tonight from Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. This is a familiar text, and I just want to bring out a couple of points. It reads like this. And again, Jesus entered into Capernaum after some days, and he was north about, and he was in the house. And straightway many were gathered together, so much that there was no room to receive them. Not so much about the door. And he preached the word unto them. Verse 3 says, And they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy. And he was born by four. Simply means that there were four men actually holding one post of the bed that the man that was sick was lying on. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and they broke it up, and let him down, wherein the sick of the palsy lay. Verse 5, And Jesus saw their faith, and he said to the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven. I want to talk just a few minutes about taking off the roof. Just take off the roof. There's, there's one thing that's interesting about this, and I, I don't want to talk about the miracle itself, uh, because we know that God is a miraculous God. But I do want you to know that every now and then there comes a time or something in your life where you just really got to take off the roof in order to get something done. And what I mean by that is not that God don't hear all and, and know all, but it does mean that you really get God's attention when you take off the roof. And when I talk about these four men, there, there, there are three things that I want to talk about the four men. Well, number one is, is that... that they were mindful enough and felt enough compassion to go and take the man and the bed to Jesus. They didn't pick him up. They took the whole bed to Jesus. So number one, the, these men were above average. In other words, they were not just the common run of the Christian. They were above average. Now, what Christian you know that when you get to a place that now, I can't get to Jesus. Most of us, just to be real with it, we would have left the bed right there. Hey, I've done my part. I've got here. Hey, we can't do nothing else. But when you're above average, that means that you, you learn how to keep pushing. See, the devil knows what to do. If he can put anything around you, anything over you, that gives you any obstacle in life, he knows he has you. He's got you. That's why every Christian, you got to be above average. I'm just sick and tired of average Christian. God's tired of average folk. He wants somebody to stand out. He wants somebody to stand up. He wants somebody to say, devil, I don't care what you put me in. I can get out of this. I can do better than this. I'm not going to stay here. I can go forward. But you got to have the attitude first that I can be and I am above average. Well, the next point about these four men is, is they went... Beyond duty. Because a lot of times we want to stop right there. Hey, I went to church, I sang, I give, I did my part, I'm through. Well, they went beyond duty. What do you mean they went beyond duty? Now they are looking for a place to find so Jesus can get to the sick man. Now, now, now watch this. Now watch this. They didn't come there uh, uh, being roofers. They didn't come there with tools on and say, hey, we put on roof, we take off roof. They come there just to see Jesus. Hey, beyond the duty, now they're looking up and looking around. What about us going on top of the roof? Notice this. No hammers. <laughs> they are taking off the roof literally with their hands and with sticks. And when I say that mean, means that, hey, uh, some fingers got a little bloody. Some fingers got a little, you know, a uh, uh, few scars on that. I don't know how many of us, you know, after we get lotion down and all down, want anything on our hand. These men up there, they're, they're taking off, off the roof. And that's when I leave, uh, I call them, you know, all out. What do you mean all out? Now, when they made the hole in the roof, now watch this. The hole in the roof is not a hole in the roof. It's a hole in the roof. The hole is large enough to let a man in a bed down in there. They've gone all out to do their thing. They didn't give up. They didn't give out. They continued to do until they got the man to Jesus. Now, what was Jesus saying? Jesus says, when I saw their strength, he did not say that the sick man's strength. 
when I saw their strength. In other words, they had such determination. They had such a manpower within them. Right, we're going to get this done. See, the Christian, you got to say, hey, I got to take the roof off. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to take the roof off. The devil ain't going to keep me here. I'm going to get this done. Jesus saw that strength and he said, you know what? I'm going to bless you because of their strength. He got his blessing. He receives his blessing. He got blessed to be well, not because of his faith, but he got well and blessed because of their faith. So when you take the roof off, it just may be a blessing for someone else. Y'all be blessed.